Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing foreign retirees in Thailand and the regulatory structure associated with Thai immigration. Thought of making this video after reading an article from the Bangkok Post, that's bangkokpost.com. Article is titled, Council Urges Effort to Woo Foreign Retirees. Quoting directly, the private sector agrees with the coalition's government's, with the coalition government's vow to reform outdated laws and regulations, especially in terms of cutting redundant rules that hinder tourism development. The second policy is to suspend around 1,400 laws and regulations that are proving to be impediments to business at present. Impediments to business at present. So, again, it, it's, there seems to be... The title of this article was about wooing retirees. They talk a lot about tourism in there. Long story short, as always, Thailand benefits greatly from foreign nationals coming to Thailand and spending money in a tourism context or a retirement context. And the question is, would lightening up the regulatory structure associated with immigration benefit Thailand in the sense that it might attract more retirees? I'd say it's definitely possible and definitely something to think about. The other thing to bear in mind is Quite honestly, Thailand has a very accommodating retirement visa system. The ability to come to Thailand and basically not have to really put down any, a great deal of money, but just, be, but just need to maintain roughly, well, not roughly, in the case of the bot denomination, it's, it's clearly 800,000 bot in a Thai bank account or 65,000 bot in terms of income. That's, that's not a really super high threshold, especially when you look at other residence programs throughout the world and other programs, so-called golden visas and these things. They're far more expensive than that. And you're not spending the $800,000. you are just putting it into a bank account. It's not a matter of that money is gone. It's a matter that that money is just being held in a specific account in order to be on file for purposes of maintaining one's long-term visa status here in the kingdom. So should, should Thailand do more to woo foreign retirees? Yeah, I think so. I mean, especially coming off of two and a half years of virtually zero tourism, and we did not see a major increase of retirees in the kingdom. I'm sure Thailand could use the foreign exchange. So yeah, all, all around, it would be a good idea to woo more retirees in. That said, you know, major changes, especially in the current political climate, major changes to the Thai immigration rules remain to be seen but we'll certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves.